abuse that isn't talked about enough is post-separation abuse. This is especially common when the victim of the narcissist ends the relationship instead of the other way around. And when this happens, it causes a massive narcissistic injury, which usually will result in the narcissist seeking a very damaging and completely disproportional and vicious act or acts of revenge on the person who ended the relationship. You must remember, narcissists view everything in life as a competition, and they have a deep and troubling fear of being seen as a loser or inferior in any way. And unfortunately, if someone ends a relationship with a narcissist, this will produce an extreme reaction and usually will begin a disturbing pattern of abusive behaviors that can last for days, weeks, months, and in some cases, years or even decades. This can come in the form of a nasty smear campaign where the narcissist spreads complete lies about you or gross exaggerations about something that you did and they twist and turn it into something that it never actually was. This could come in the form of stalking and harassment, uh, causing tremendous fear and emotional distress and anxiety. Uh, blackmail is another one that the nar of the narcissist's favorite post-separation abuse tactics where they use compromising information to threaten, manipulate, or coerce you. Parental alienation is another very common abuse tactic that they love to use where they attempt and in many cases succeed at psychologically abusing your children so severely that they turn them against you even making them believe that you abandoned them or tell them that you don't love them and that you're dangerous. Sometimes the post-separation abuse can manifest as false allegations of criminal behavior, where they actually try to set you up to be arrested for crimes you did not commit. And unfortunately, many times uh, the narcissist will seek revenge and vindication through legal abuse, where they subject you to years of abuse through the misuse and exploitation of the family courts. I have personally been subjected to years and years of all of these things. This is one of the reasons that I always say, if at all possible, it's always safest if a victim can get the narcissist to discard them instead of the other way around. However, I also know this isn't always possible. Anyone who is going through a breakup with a narcissist needs to know this can be a very dangerous time and you should take extra precautions to ensure your safety and the safety of your loved ones.